Welcome back everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to use the, the WordPress nonces with the meta boxes and forms and we learned about how to verify and protect it against CSRF, cross-site request forgery. And in this video, we're going to uh, continue with our development of our post in the loop wherein we would want to show or hide the title based on the data that's saved into the meta box of the post okay so what we're going to do now is basically uh, come in over here into our entry header.php and then we're going to add a heading class uh, we're going to check if not empty oh. if not empty height title and if the height title equals yes high title is yes then we'll say we'll go ahead and use the height class else we won't use any classes okay so this is our heading class uh, which will be equal to height in case if the user has selected the height title as yes from the editor so just wanted to show it to you you go to a single block page edit post and then down at the bottom, if the user has selected yes over here, like in this case, let's do yes. So in that case, it's going to go ahead and return uh, as hide. The class name will be hide. Okay, great. Now we're going to display the title. So we're going to do it over here. So this is where we are showing the featured image. And, and just below this, we can do title and we're going to check whether or not the user is on a single page because remember that if he's on a single page I don't want to have a permalink for the heading uh, I don't want the user to click on the heading because he's already on the single page however is if he's on a blog post page which is this I do want to have a permalink so that he can click and go on to the single page so I have to check conditionally over here so if he's on a single page or a single post page or on a regular page then we'll just print our heading so we'll use printf and then we will use h1 h1 and we'll give it a class of page title and we'll give it a text dark class which is a bootstrap class okay and then we'll give it another class using percentage one dollar s which is uh, because we're using printf, this is going to be replaced by the value that we're going to pass into the next parameter. And then this will be percentage $2 s, and this will be replaced by the second parameter. Okay, so I'll pass the first parameter now. So first parameter will be the heading class, so escape attribute. We already have added heading class on top. We just discussed that and value will be hide in case of the user selects hide from the meta box of the uh, edit screen. Okay, this will be percentage $2 S. Okay, and the second parameter will be the the title. Okay, so we have a function called get the title, but before that we'll use WP kisses post. Kisses post and then we'll use get oops get the title function to get the title okay so I just want to show you what this function does WP kisses post it takes the data and it sanitizes the content for the allowed HTML tags for the post content okay so we'll use that and then that's it for this else otherwise I'm going to again copy this. So if he's not on a single post page or a single page, I'm still going to use it. However, this time I will use an H2 because when I'm displaying these posts, uh, I already have used H1 for my page heading, which is blog. And on a single page, there should only be one H1 for SEO. Okay, so this time we're using H2. And we're using a different class like entry title. And then we just give it a margin bottom of three. 
30 pixels, which is a bootstrap class. We don't need to add any hidden additional classes. And this can be just, uh, there will also be uh, a tag because I want the user to be able to click over here and go to the single post page. So there'll be anchor tag. And inside of this, I will do percentage $1 S. Okay, and that'll be for the permalink. So I'll just update this escape URL. Get the permalink. So this will get me the permalink, which is URL of the single post page, which will be replaced by here. So this will be replaced by the permalink. Okay, and then inside of the A tag, we can have this title. So I'll just cop cut this and paste it here. Oops. Okay, so now uh, this will be replaced by the title. So you can see that this is what it is, right? Awesome, great. So that's it. Let's go back and refresh. And there you go. So you can see that now we have got the title for the post with the permalink. I think we should give this uh, a text dark color, text dark color. Let's refresh. Oops, I think text dark color should go to a tag anchor tag. So I'll give it a class of text dark. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. So now you can see this is clickable. And if I click on it, notice in the URL, it goes to the single post page. And if you also do the inspect element, you'll notice that that's the kind of markup that we actually getting. Let me just reduce the size. You can see entry title MB3. And that's what we have. This is the one. And then the A tag with text doc. And then in HRF, we have the URL of the post. And then over here, $2, which is to get the title. We have the title of the post, right? Now, this is what happens if he's not on a single page or a standard page. So if we click on this, now he's on the single post page. And this is where this, uh, this will be used since on a single page, we haven't really called this, uh, we haven't included this uh, template, hence it's not being shown over here, but eventually it would whenever we add the code over there. Okay. Awesome. So this is good. Uh, the next thing we want to do is basically add the time it was posted and who created this post and stuff like that. Okay. I think we can do this in the next video. So I'm going to catch you uh, catch up with you on the next video and we'll do the entry meta at that time. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <music>